All right, students, this is a quick rundown of how to figure out wind speed using the anemometer you made in class. First, you're going to notice there's a key here. A um, little math, obviously, here. So uh, C is the circumference. That's the distance around a circle. In this case, it's going to be the distance around your anemometer. D is the diameter. That's the distance across. So that would be the distance across your anemometer from edge to edge, from cup to cup. And then uh, pi, you know that pi is 3.14. That's coming up in a couple of weeks, actually. Uh, March 14th, we celebrate pi day. Uh, one mile is 5,280 feet. The first thing you're going to need to do, step one, again, it's all laid out here, uh, but we need to find the circumference, the distance around the anemometer. So we have some math to figure out. Uh, let's measure the diameter. So we're going to measure the distance across your anemometer edge to edge, so the edge of the cup to the edge of the cup. I can't put an anemometer underneath this camera, there's just not enough room, so we'll just use this little uh, display here. So we're going to measure the distance across your anemometer, and let's just pretend that this is, let's just say that's 10 inches across. So I'm just going to put 10 inches. If it's 10 and a half, you would put uh, 10.5. If it's 10 and a quarter, you would put 10, uh, 10.25. So again, that would look like 10 and a quarter would look like that. Uh, 10 and a half would look like, uh, look like that. Now we're going to multiply the diameter, <coughs> which was 10, by 3.14. So we'll just check that out here. So 10, and this is obviously easy mental math here, so 10 times 3.14 is going to give us 31.4. We're just moving the decimal over one spot. So that's 31.4. And um, let's see. The number is the circumference of your anemometer now in inches. So that's the total circumference. So it's 31.4 inches all the way around. Now we're going to divide that circumference by 12. So let's divide this by 12. Divide this by 12, we're going to get 2.6, and that's the circumference in feet all the way around your anem anemometer. And then step three here is observe and record the number of revolutions in one minute. So basically, you're going to hold your anemometer up to the fan, and how many times does it spin a full revolution all the way around in one minute or 60 seconds? Uh, so if if it starts here and it comes all the way around, that's one revolution. So you're just going to count them as they go by. So one, two, three. And in this case, let's say it's spinning pretty fast. And let's say it spins, uh, I don't know, 92. It spins around 92 times, which is a lot. That's a lot of counting. But uh, you can do it. And there's some uh, tips and tricks that we can help you with uh, if it's too hard. Uh, so now we're going to go back here, observe and record the number of revolutions. So again, it was, uh, we're just going to use 92. It spun around 92 times in 60 seconds. Now we're going to multiply the circumference in feet. That's, just, that's the uh, step two answer right here. So multiply the circumference in feet by how many times it revolved in one minute. So that's this number times this number. And we already have uh, this number in here, so uh, I guess we could zero that out, but it's okay. I'm just going to multiply that by 92. That's not going to make too much of a difference. And that gives us about 240, and we'll just go to the 10th here. We'll just go to 240.7. Step six, step six, I'm sorry, step five. Now convert this number to the distance per hour by multiplying by 60. So we're going to convert that number, multiply it by 60. That's going to give us 14,444. And now I'm going to step six. Now I'm going to finally divide by 5,280. Again, that's how many feet in one mile. And that will produce an approximate wind speed in miles per hour. So we're going to divide this number by, again, 5280, divide by 5280, and that's going to give us 2.73. That means the fan speed 
whichever setting it was, was uh, 2.73 miles per hour. So that's your anemometer actually measuring the wind speed, whether you're outside or using an artificial fan. So that is how you figure that out.